Hey guys, welcome back. At last, I updated Hyperspeed to version 2. And in this video, I want to show you what new features have been added and what has changed. Go to the video description, click the link, and download the file. After downloading, extract the file. After extracting the file, copy Hyperspeed v2.jexpin to the script UI panels folder in the After Effects installation directory. After transferring the file to the Script UI Panels folder, open After Effects and go to the Preferences section. Then check the box for Allow Scripts to Write Files in Access Network. Then close After Effects and reopen it. From the Window menu, select the script. When you left-click the WDL button, the deep glow and drop shadow effects will be added to the layer. And when you hold shift and left-click, tracking will be added. At first glance, you might be thinking, what could possibly have changed about the delete all button? As you can see, my layers include scale and effects. Enter the settings to customize the Delete All button. If any of the sections are turned off, that part won't be deleted. For example, I'll turn off Scale. As you can see, everything was deleted except for the scale. In this example too, everything was removed except for the effects. You can use Restore Defaults to reset to the default settings. Select an audio file and follow what I do. But first, let me explain to you what Dropify is. You can add FFX files, videos, images, and audios to the Dropify panel. From the Set Location section, you can specify the path for the preset or anything else you have in mind. For example, I selected a preset and named it Hard Shake. Now, just select one or more layers. With just a double click, you can add the preset to your layers. It doesn't matter where you are on the timeline, the preset will be added to the beginning of all selected layers. Alright, now I want to add an image to the Dropify panel. Normally, when you double-click on image, audio, or video files, it is added at the highest point on the timeline where your current time indicator is located. But if you select a layer, the file will be added above that layer at the point of the current time. Video and audio files work the same way. I've put a lot of effort into this video and script, so please don't forget to like and subscribe, and leave a comment to keep me going.
You can delete the files added to the panel, either one by one or all at once. When you hold shift and click, it pre-composes all the layers together. The layers are pre-composed in order by name, for example, pre-comp 1, pre-comp 2, and so on. Just like the previous version, when you click the button once, it pre-composes the layers separately. Now in this version, you can increase or decrease the gap between keyframes. And I made another change for more convenience. Now when you left click the button once, Twixter is added to the layers. And when you hold shift and left click, motion tile is added. I added more customization options in the settings and I will explain each one to you. In the frame rate section, as the name suggests, you can set the keyframe value for the Twixter. In the second section, if it's disabled, Twixter will be added without keyframes, and you can set the speed value in the box. In the third section, if it's disabled, the first two keyframes won't be added. In the fourth section, if it's disabled, the last two keyframes won't be added. I've also put the links to my social media down below, feel free to follow if you'd like. I've prepared 8 hyperspeed logos so you can use whichever one you like. With one click on the button, a solid layer is added to the timeline. That comes with the tint effect for changing color. And another cool thing, when you hold shift and click, you can add a camera layer. In this section, you need to select a preset. And with these arrows, you can move the anchor points of the layers. Thanks for watching the video. I hope Hyperspeed can help you.